Yo, guys, what's going on? There's a lot of sun over there. Let's see if I'm going to put it over this side. I'm going to scoot over. Yeah, the world is turning. I can tell that because what's going on here with the sun, it's, it's, it's slowly in this situation, it's, it's going this direction. So uh, within the next week or so, you know, we'll be coming up on the, the equinox or the solstice, that is the summer solstice this month. Somewhere around the 23rd. But anyways, um, yeah, so each day the sun in the sky moves a degree to the left or to the right because I'm dyslexic. It's either one of those. It's not sitting still until you run into one of these solstices. And then it sits still for three days and three nights as it looks like it sits still in the sky. Just like in the winter solstice, that's when God, that's when Jesus is, uh, is dies and born <clears throat> on the Southern Cross. And of course, those three days and three nights up here in this area up there, that's in Capricorn. It's like the sixth chakra, that idea that, you know, are you going to go forward or are you going to go backwards from here? So it just sits there. It's the three days and three nights right in there. That's that spot, six. Three days, three nights. Well, I'll teach you guys how to read uh, spiritual words one way or another. Here I am over at a, uh, a, an acquaintance. His name's Chris Curtis. All right. And up here, he usually talks about flat earth. You know, these flat earthers, you know, I don't even think we should care. This idea of these people put so much emphasis on on earth how are you going to disconnect how are you going to put the world behind you in order to do what we are asked to do and that's to become enlightened and lift ourselves out of this phase in order to do that you have to let go of the land that's how it sounds in the Hopi prophecy this is like this, this, this beautiful thing is like a giant wave that comes and crashes and wipes an entire village out. And I know that sounds terrible, but that's called dark sands. Dark sands, they really have something else inside them. They have something beautiful inside them. Just like the idea of spare the rod and spoil the child, that doesn't mean go and beat your child, except, you know, <laughs> I had enough of that. Hopefully the whole world has had enough of that. But no, the world the world is a dark place. And it's meant for us to work ourselves, our lives, our souls, work it their way into the light. And they're coming from a light. But in order to do this, we drag them to hell. And on the way there, we are growing our hair and becoming... Uh, Human beings and our soul itself is using us like we are a we are a host of a kind, a host of God. You know, we first have G. Uh, we have we, we come in with Father, so that's a lower God, and uh, we are asked to search for this higher God and to replace Him with. And the way we do that is the new mind. The new heaven and the new earth. In our Bible, our Bible is not talking about earth itself. We have found out late, I wrote recently through the Thoth tablets, the Thoth, 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 I'm always messing those words up, that God does not create this earth. But uh, this is the playground for us to manifest it. And so, you know, and it belongs to Saturn, okay? Satan, that's who the earth belongs to. That's who our lower mind belongs to until we correct it, all right? And that's what the Bible's talking about. So he's over here talking about Chris Curtis, and this one here is the Epic of Gilgamesh. Look what somebody wrote him. And I'm supposed to think, hmm, that I worry. I, I write and take up too much room. Well, I'm getting a lot better. 
So anyways, I'm going to share this with you. It's the Epic of Gilgamesh. You can remember, it's the flood myth. It's the first flood story. It's thousands of years before it shows up in our Bible. But not before it shows up all over the place. All right? Because this is a meditation myth. You got to get more out of it. You got to dig a little further. In our Bible, our God up there is a husbandsman. He plants things. He's a gardener. He plants little seeds in earth, waiting for them to grow so that that one day in the fall, during harvest time, he'll get something out of it. That's the short that's the short story. That's the long story for the short story because they're exactly the same. Because we ourselves, this seed, we're God. We planted our seed inside of us and we're not feeding it or doing anything yet when you're in the working mode, when you're on the on the works. It's only once you've discovered that you can get over this. Go go at go break out from being a slave of this earth and to where you're becoming one of the light people, the people that are enlightened, like lighting up the world, knowledge, and beautiful things. You try to make hell a little easier, bring a little light along the path, and that's what we're doing, and that's all this is about. So this idea that the Samaritans came from out from the sky, from space, to turn us all into slaves, to labor for them. That they would change our DNA even to become the slaves and bring gold, to mine for gold for them. So that their atmosphere would, you know, stay alive. They want to stay, they want to better themselves by bettering us. Okay. So what happens? What does that mean? All of this is about digging for the gold. And that gold in these stories is what God plants in us, is our seed, our soul. Once you release this guy, you go from being poor to being rich. And that goes from being dead, spiritually dead, to being spiritually alive. It's beautiful. All right, so here's what I share with the world out there and what... The Bible and all these other stories would share to those people with the eyes that can see this stuff, the ears that can hear it. All right, but check this out. This is what I tell them. <clears throat> I said, look into Greek cosmology, and we get five stages of consciousness. <clears throat> all right, now I'm, I'm adding the fifth as the result. Okay, as a result. All right, it may very well be the way it is. It says here, um, earth, water, air, and fire, and the new mind. It said they correlate to brain frequencies of beta, alpha, theta, and delta, which gives us an end result, the new mind. In this form, uh, it's the formula used to enlighten the individual who takes this journey. How to turn your inside light on and connect to source permanently. It says, hidden under these stories is the way home. See it like an amusement park game, whereby the player whacks a disc up a pole to hopefully ring a bell at its top. Now picture it as our chakra system of the spine, raising up from the root to the head. The sixth chakra is the ringer, the stone, the pineal gland, the Sabbath day. Seventh chakra is the light turning on. Now picture Noah's Ark and its description while resting on earth. The lower floor. Next are the two upper floors. And just a cubit away is a window. 
Uh, it says, when the dove, oh, and when to, I guess we got to fix that. When the dove returns, it's the Holy Ghost. This is the result. And now the ark rests atop a mountain. And it used our emotions to see water to lift us up there. Now we find Noah outside of the boat in a tent. He's in meditation. He is found naked <clears throat> without his garments, drunk of the new wine. Well, that's the introduction of the Holy Ghost. Wine. Spirit. Naked because our skin is not allowed on this trip. It, the body, is represented by the ship and all the animals aboard. He is outside, outside of the ship. And we are looking at his soul. It's our soul, the child within us, that we send to do this bidding for the Father. This is the underlining science behind most all myths and spiritual scripture relating to returning to the source and obtaining this light. That's many things, my friend. You will find that the Samaritan stories that many see as spacemen coming to Earth as they set out to manipulate the DNA of humans to make us slaves and dig for gold. Well, I'm afraid not. You're not digging deep enough into the text to see its truth. Its result is the exact same sequence as the above mentioned. In Nebuchadnezzar's dream of a man's image, the statue is also a representation of these same five steps. Its head is made of gold and its torso and arms silver brass represents the hips and the thighs and the legs are iron with mixed clay and iron for the feet in his dream a small stone is thrown taps this image on the foot and the image shatters believe it or not it's the exact same turn of events as above going for the gold and it's a and it takes away our slavery. You see, we are born with this unhealthy, unclean mind called a double mind, individual uh, uh, called a double-minded individual, where only half of the operational capacity is being used. Ooh, that sounds good. Unfortunately, this is the way all people are born. The right side of the boat's missing. It's the mother's side, the Holy Ghost. All we are operating under is Father, and together they represent God. Separate, he's the devil. The living side of us. This is our ego and our intellect. This is all we have, not a bit of God. Uh, yet, or if ever, we are asked to seek it, and many think they already have it. Well, that's folly. The soul is considered locked away in a grave using these times, during these times. And it's our only way out. Jesus wants to raise us from our graves. It says, uh, not you and me, but our souls. The children do our bidding. These little children do our bidding. Also known as our brother. Cain kills his brother and starts off the curse of the land. Where we can't get any nourishment from the vine, from the kundalini. From tilling the land. Meditation. Not till Noah. Do we have the return of this covenant with God as his connection between earth and heaven is the rainbow bridge, the chakra system. Make yourself an ark of go for her wood, of gopher wood, all right? 
just beautiful, just beautiful. For those with the eyes that them see this business, those with the ears, let them hear it. And those with the soft hearts, let them understand it. Let's see you guys. Hope you got something out of this. See you later.